I'm Scott Allen Miller, and today I'm just going to do a quick thing to help expats with something that's really important that not very many people know about, and it's just not something that people think about, but it's really important to everyday life, and we can make your life a lot more secure and easy by telling you a little bit about passwords. I, I know this isn't exciting, but give me just a minute. So I work in the security space and have for a really long time, and you can go check out my other channel, Sam IT. You can look for my uh, information on the NIST, the National Institute of uh, Standards and Technology from the United States, uh, password guidelines. We talk about some of the stuff in depth. We go into math, but none of that's important. What I want to do is help you understand a tiny bit really quickly what you need to know about passwords in order to secure yourself. Because I work in technology and every day I encounter even IT professionals who don't understand how passwords work and how to secure them and how easy it is to be secure and how easy it is to get tricked by people who are trying to keep you from being secure. So let's talk about passwords really quickly. Everyone who's trying to trick you wants you to think that complex passwords, that's those passwords with numbers instead of letters and symbols in it, all that is going to be secure. And that is absolutely you being social engineered or hacked by people trying to trick you. Sometimes it's companies, sometimes it's someone who just wants to get access to your computer. And it's often done at a large scale because it's easy to trick large groups of people and just make everyone vulnerable. So if you work in a space where you want to steal things, it just makes the world a little bit more accessible. Everyone has done this for a long time. And it's easy to trick people with this because it looks complex. Well, that password is hard to remember, so therefore it must be a hard password. That's absolutely not true. Computers do not have the same issues that we do with remembering passwords or trying passwords or seeing that a letter has been replaced by a number. They do this automatically, and if you do those things, like you, you make a password and it's just your name, but you change the vowels in your name to be numbers, well, guess what? A computer knows to do that and does it so quickly and considers that part of your name that it it never even realizes you tried to obscure it, but it does make it harder for you to remember and to type in. So you're more likely to have to use a password remembering tool or write it down on a piece of paper, store it somewhere that's insecure. You're going to make your password shorter and you're going to have problems remembering it. Like it's all bad. You're the one who suffers. You're the one who is less secure to the computer. You didn't do anything to secure it whatsoever. In some cases, it would be arguable that you didn't even make a password. If you take your own name and just replace the vowels with you know, numbers and put it, that's not a password at all. That's literally just repeating your name in an alternative script that is well known. So of course, that's going to make you very vulnerable. But you say, well, it's really hard to make a, a good password uh, and, and not have it be easily guessed, but it's not, it's not at all. There's only two things that matter in making a password strong. One is the length of the password. Short passwords are easy for computers to iterate through. Long ones take time and time is the one thing because eventually any password can be cracked. What you wanna do is to make it take so much time that it's not worth trying to track, crack it. The other is randomness. If your password is not random, if it's based off of any Anything about you, which could be your favorite food, a pet's name, your name, places where you work, anything like that. Humans basically can't be random. And so we're always going to take something from our environment. Imagine that it's random. Imagine that other people don't know about it. They generally do. And we're going to use that to generate our password. And that is fundamentally insecure. Again, almost like not having a password at all. Instead, you want to use a password generator that actually is random. And more importantly, even if it wasn't completely random, isn't associated with you. So that there's no way to know what that randomness or lack of randomness is going to be based on. And so the one thing that we recommend, and this is the easiest thing in the world, is go look up the password generator called Correct Battery Horse Staple. That's actually its name. And the reason is, is because common words that are easy for you to remember, that are random but weird gibberish that you actually can associate in your brain, are ways to actually remember things. And there's a famous comic strip by a physicist that broke down the mathematical reality of this and showed why a really easy to remember long password by a string of words by humans uh, in human English was very hard for a computer to crack and why something that was very hard that what we assumed was a complex password was anything but complex or hard to the computer and made humans make mistakes instead of making the computer put in a lot of work. So this tool, which is a free one, and I will link it down below, is the only thing you should use. I'll also try to link the comic strip and all that so you can look up any history on those things if you're interested. But this is all you need to know. Do not make your own passwords. Never do that. Do not use weird symbols and all those things. Never do that. 
there's no time that you as a normal user or you as an end user in a business should ever be doing those things. And if your company says, oh, you have to have all this complexity, your IT professional is either incompetent or working against you. Probably they just don't know. And there's great references for that, like the video that I will link below from the Sam IT training channel, just in case you work for a company and they need information on this. They need to reach out to security experts because if you have someone doing that, they're exactly who's exposing you to a great degree of risk. And again, passwords shouldn't be changed often. And why? Because it makes it hard for humans to remember. Computers are not continuously guessing against the same pool all the time, so that doesn't matter in most cases either. I'm not saying you should never change a password, but the high frequency changes of passwords with high complexity passwords, those things were engineered by people who were trying to get government agencies and other large companies to accidentally expose themselves and make themselves vulnerable so they're easier to hack into. And it worked incredibly well to the point where even now, a decade after it is well known how to make, and, and there are tools on making simple very secure passwords, even professionals who work in the space often are unaware of the entire ecosystem of how passwords would work. And even though it shouldn't require a physicist or any special knowledge, just thinking about passwords and computers should be enough to tell most people how good passwords would be. It doesn't work out that way in reality. So this is all you need to know. As an expat, as someone traveling, your passwords are very important. And a little itty bitty bit of effort will actually make it easier to remember, easier for you to do everything that you're going to do, be random, and not have to worry about how to come up with passwords. And, and one thing I just wanna say, no matter what you think, you're not good at making passwords. No human is. Humans are fundamentally bad at making their own passwords, and there's no reason to do it. It takes effort on your part, why put in that effort? There's a tool that makes an easy to remember password that is long for you. You can adjust it if you're not in a situation where you need it to be super long, you can make it shorter. That's not a problem, but keeping it relatively long and simple for you to remember and random are the things that are most important. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you this afternoon.